So now let's see how we can work with Spotlight and Magnify and Watermark effects inside of Snagit Editor. So in order to work with Spotlight and Magnify effect, let me just go over here on to Spotlight and Magnify. So if I were to go over here, right here, I can go around and select out a portion. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to select out the subtract portion right here. Once I do that, I can get the options right here for the zoom. So I can just increase this out right over here and then I can dim it out right over here just like this. So everything else is dimmed out as uh, this part is zoomed out just like that. I can also blur it out. I can blur out the other parts right over there as well and also work around with the drop shadow as you can see. So you can see that this area right here which is selected is distinct. I can then, then resize the canvas for fit over here as well if it is not fit right there and then I can change around the horizontal position. I can change around the position of this as well as you can see. So I can just go around and let's say I want it, uh, want this area to be visible that I want to arrange that out. So I can simply apply this out as you can see right there. Then we have watermark option right here just like this and then you can scale around over here as you can see and the watermark is there. So by default this watermark is there for the snagit. So I can use my own as well. So I can just go over here onto the folder just like this and then I'm going to go around onto uh, let's say for example onto my tututube folder and I'm going to bring in the tututube logo right here and open that out. And the logo is here as you can see. So I can just go around and choose the position of the logo right here. The logo is quite big as you can see so I can just scale it around over here to keep it just like that. I can increase out the depth of the logo over here as well and I can underlay and overlay this out as well just like that. So this is underlay, so this is more like just an emboss right here and I can choose around different directions for the emboss as well. So let me just go around and choose the overlay right here just like that and I can uh, change the uh, black to transparent or any other color over here onto transparent as you can see right here. So let me just go over here and choose white as transparent and that becomes transparent. So I'm just going to not use transparent right here. I can choose around the scale right over here and choose around the position right over here. So I can keep it on the bottom, on the left, just click around over here and the position is there, just like that. And that is how you can work around with, uh, with uh, that is how you can work around with the spotlight, uh, magnify and watermark effect inside of Snagit Editor. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.